If you've ever wondered what RFID is and why you may be interested in blocking it, I'm going to attempt to demystify it for you. I'm also going to talk about whether building access passes work through RFID blocking wallets and do a few demos for you. Here are a few different card types and readers. The most common are these contactless payment, ID, and transit passes. They all work at 13.56 MHz, and this high frequency is blocked by slimfold RFID wallets. However, most building passes use the 125 kHz frequency, which is much lower. This means that the waves can actually pass through a wallet even when it's closed. For most customers, this is the best of both worlds, where payment and ID cards are protected, but building passes still work through the wallet. Another question lots of folks have is whether the RFID wallets are thicker. For the slimfold wallets, we use a super thin blocking layer. I could hand you one of each kind of wallet and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Bottom line, do you need it? Well, it's one of those things that's unlikely to happen to you, but it's pretty easy to protect against. So it kind of comes down to what the impact is if it does happen. One of the things that changed my mind was when government issued IDs such as passports, military IDs, and green cards started having RFID embedded in them. They would come in sleeves that also protected RFID and recommend that you keep them in those sleeves. So it's not that big of a deal if someone gets your credit card information, but identity theft is a whole other thing. I hope this helps you understand RFID a bit better and decide whether you want a wallet that blocks it or not. Let me know if you have any questions about RFID or anything else.